Hey everybody! Welcome back to Northern Lion Plays the Binding of Isaac Rebirth. We got a new uh, kind of title screen going on there. Had some pretty good luck with Azazel. We unlocked about uh, 80 different things, I would say. That might not be a, um, a scientific analysis of that. Who else do we need? Oh, we have so many Eden tokens. We need a boss rush kill on a lot of characters, but who still needs a Satan kill? Blue Baby. And Samson still needs a Satan kill? Alright, I'll tell you what, we'll play a Samson this time. Now, I'm an idiot, and uh, I had a cold sweat immediately when finishing the last run. I was like, I didn't show the seed. That's okay. Well, I mean, maybe it's not, but we'll show it on this one. Oh, A7E. That's zero. Zero A7E. W A Q 3. I'm trying hard to be uh, better about showing those seeds, but it is. Um... Ooh, is that Infestation 2? Oh, it's a big fan. I always get mistaken there. Um. Big fan is pretty good. I like when you play in co-op and then your uh, if your co-op partner respawns, they get big fly and they can be like a mobile kind of uh, shield for you. I mean, it still orbits around them, but anyway. Um, yeah, I've been trying to do, do better about showing out the seeds, but you gotta cut me some slack, right? Like, I did 900, well, more if you count community remakes and stuff like that, uh, runs in... Vanilla without showing the seed, so I'm used to just getting in here, and then you know my brain starts getting on the conversational threads rather than the actual uh, you know knocking out the to-do list of getting the seed ready and stuff like that. So it's hard to get used to, but I think I'm getting better about it. Like eight of the last ten or something like that have uh, have the seeds in them, which I think is it's an improvement anyway. Let's put it that way. All right, big fan is an acceptable first item. Now let's fight uh, Big Famine. <laughs> Not really a good joke at all. Well, let's ignore that. So my hope is that maybe I can use Big Fan to deal a lot of damage. Didn't really work out that way. Um, also, I've got to admit, I don't really know why, but a lot of people have told me Samson is a lot better in Rebirth. I, I'm not the kind of guy that looks at the actual uh, the stats or anything like that. But I've been told a couple of different things. Maybe you can confirm or deny for myself whether, whether that's true. I've heard that Rage now doesn't affect your individual room, it affects your floor. So if you uh, build Rage, it builds for the entire floor. Then when you go down to the next floor, I guess it resets, but um, it has a permanent effect on the floor you're on. I've also heard, and I'm not sure if this is true, because it seems not suspicious, but different than vanilla at least. We've got a nice suite of orbitals to start with at least here, but um, wow, they are very close together. Uh, it seemed like... Or someone said um, that uh, it's rage is based on the damage you take as opposed to the the enemies you kill. So when you take damage, it makes your rage go up. I don't know if I necessarily believe that. Can I just say that I'm loving this um, kind of suite of orbitals that we have going on for ourselves right now? This is amazing. Because what we can do is just line ourselves up. You know, anytime you say just, that's where things are going to end in disaster for you. But we can try to line ourselves up. In a situation, well, we don't really want Anarchist Cookbook, but in a situation where uh, you kind of have like a big shield in front of you that also does a ton of damage. So basically, like when the shield is in the right position, I think it might be impossible or near impossible for us to get hit. And that was a little ballsy and stupid there, but um, it allows us to deal so much freaking damage to these enemies. Like, look at this. Normally, this would be annoying. Because I have this really slow rotating shield in front of me, it was actually very easy. Let's try Anarchist Cookbook here. There is a Tinted Rock. Alright, well, they spawn like dead center on the room. So again, we'll just wait like a second here for these to rotate in. Now we have this big shield that I think is borderline impossible to shoot us through. That is a... I don't know if it's awesome, but it feels awesome. I also don't know uh, how this is going to work if we get... Oh man, Monstro's Lung. So we had this last run. But I'm going to pick it up on this run. I actually think Monstro's Lung is really good and really fun if you don't fuck up the synergies. And oftentimes it's very easy to fuck up the synergies. Mostly because we don't really know how the synergies work yet. And we don't know what synergizes well with what. But anyway, I'm, I'm happy to have it. I think it's a cool item. But I like Cursed Eye too. And people tell me I'm fucking crazy for it. I don't know if I've only had Cursed Eye on runs where I only had like 1 HP or something. But um, I, I have never had a problem with Cursed Eye. And that's not me bragging. Like, sincerely, it's, I've never had the ill effect from Cursed Eye. I know it sounds crazy. So, maybe I'm a little bit in the minority here. Uh, I, I think we're going to be able to kill the boss pretty easily. So, my hope was that we would get that Tinted Rock, which we did not. But we did get a black card here. What about our pill? Full health. Alright, well, good to know it's there, I guess. 
It's Monstro. I mean, originally this whole you always fight Monstro on the second floor thing started as a joke, but it actually really seems to be true now. Like, look at this shield, dog. This is amazing. As long as the enemy doesn't jump. <laughs> the enemy jumps, so it, uh, hold on there. What, what's the big idea? But seriously, it allows us to really have like a nice little buffer with the enemy and deal a ton of damage. Let's see what we've got in our deal with the devil here. Uh, I think a two-heart ability to fly is a totally fine trade right now. And we'll see what else we got. Hematomesis. Uh, it's free HP, I guess. Not that we can do anything with it. And two full health pills. All right. Well, down to the next floor, I suppose. Maybe there were consumables I missed out there. Uh, but whatever. I'm okay with it. Now, we're in uh, a dangerous situation. That much should be pretty obvious. But this is how I like to play vanilla. And this is how I like to play Rebirth as well. Wow, you didn't die in one monster's long shot, huh? Uh, I, I like to be low on HP, high on damage. Not that uh, Spirit of the Night really lets us get high on damage, but... You know what Michael Jackson said? Too high to get over, yeah, yeah. Too low to get under, yeah, yeah. You're stuck in the middle. I think he said, yeah, yeah, after that. And then he said, the pain is thunder. And that's true. You don't want to be stuck in the middle. You'd rather be too high to get over or too low to get under. I mean, I don't really know what... There's some crazy symbolism going on there. I think that song's probably about the Illuminati or something like that. But um, I, I think those words, you know, we can all take a little bit of that and, and apply it to our daily lives to live in a more conscious fashion. Now. Just, I'm, I'm trying not to be super aggressive about the... Uh, about the orbitals, but I actually think that being super aggressive about the orbitals might be the proper thing to do. We could really use some tiers upgrades. Uh, Monstro's Lung is taking us a long time to charge. I will just say that right away. Luck upgrade. I think this is um, a stat that, if I'm being honest, I probably underrate right now. So I'm happy to see it. And I'm happy that it'll hopefully be working itself out uh, or having some kind of weird effects that I don't fully understand for us over the course of this run. But so far, I think this run's going in well. And uh, I think there's some interesting possible synergies here. I would love to get, like, rubber cement. I still have never really seen rubber cement in its natural environment. I've only seen it uh, fucking us up, basically. Okay. This is going to be a little dangerous. Didn't we have a spirit heart to go along with this? Or was it always just a... I guess it was always just a black heart. Hmm. Now, the, the thing with being low on HP is that it does mean that um, items like nine lives get heavily incentivized. Not that I would mind that. That's a second full health pill down there, so I don't I don't see us dying on this uh, on this room, on this floor. Yeah, there's probably like a ten percent chance that it could happen. Sometimes I say things like that, and then it happens, and people go, "Yeah, okay, ten percent chance." I think you pick a number between one and ten. Four. Yeah, it was four. Oh yeah, ten percent chance. You gotta take a statistics class, dog. Ten percent means it could still happen. There's a 10% chance, you know, you're going to die if you cross the street without looking both ways. Are you going to do it? I doubt it. Alright. We're going to... Do we... That pill is a luck up? No, it's just a nothing. Amnesia. Ooh, We can't really do too much with that. And by too much, I mean... Anything at all. Because it's a passive. And its effect has already been done for us. Well, this is like, I, I would very much love to just be able to throw a bomb in the middle there, but I'm not sure if that's worth our last remaining bomb. Instead, we'll just try to whittle them down slowly here. I don't want to be too close, because I imagine our orbitals will probably trigger the explosion. There's more? There's no more. Okay, I'm an idiot. Sad Onion. Okay, this seems like a perfect uh, item to have in Synergy. With Monstro's Lung. Really lowers our charge time. I don't think Sad Onion even carries the penalty of uh, lowering our damage either. So, this to me is uh, a really nice companion to have with Monstro's Lung. I have no idea what Broken Onk does, by the way. I picked it up and didn't really talk about it. That's because I have no idea what the F it does. Whipworm. I think it makes our shots like a ton faster. I feel like with low HP, even though I don't really know what it does, I have to go with Broken Onk. Because it has to have something to do with, with coming back to life. Maybe it brings us back with one spirit heart or something like that. But even still, that's more valuable than just having slightly larger, or even greatly larger shot speed. Oh, come on. You're not going to make me fight Dark One. On the third freaking floor with no HP, you're going to make me fight Dark One? 
Now, the good thing about Dark One is that I think he's, um... He's kind of like the same as the Fallen, in that he gives you a deal with the Devil item. Also, we're doing very well against him, I have to say that, even though I did just take a little damage. We got uh, Placenta, Magic Scab, always get it confused, but the HP is good and the luck is fine. Down to the next floor. Apparently he does not give you the same items from the luck pool, but that's okay too. I can live with that. Curse of the Lost means our map is not going to function here. That's okay. We have a boss trap room. I've been getting a little bit more into boss trap rooms. If the bosses are relatively easy, which we would expect them to be, then we shouldn't run into too many problems here. But we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. I don't really want to use our full health pill to make it work. We've already been living fairly dangerously here. I thought we were actually screwed when the Dark One showed up. I thought that would be the end of, uh, the end of our run. It's another full health pill. Crazily enough. We should probably gamble, actually, now that I think about it. We have uh, a lot of luck upgrades already. And I believe if your luck stat is higher, it gives you a uh, better rate of payout from the blood bank. Call me crazy on that one, but I think that is indeed the case. So all these enemies that fire bombs means that I am staying far, far away with my orbitals. So one of the rare situations where the effectiveness of our orbitals might actually hurt us. High Priestess. I think that's a pretty good card. I think I'm going to take High Priestess and um, let's gamble like twice here. See how many coins we get. Well, that's a pretty good start. And then we can come down here and in our boss trap room we can at least kill one enemy with High Priestess. We got a lot of money for this. Yeah, okay. High Priestess thankfully didn't punish me for my mistake and actually attack the boss instead of the minions. I appreciate that a great deal. We could still die if we get hit. That's just, um, well, I mean, that's just par for the course in Isaac, isn't it? You get hit, you got a chance of dying. So you better get busy living or get busy dying. That was a scary one. All right. I don't know what you do with, with Anarchist Cookbook. Like, I, I think that's probably pretty clear at this moment, but, um, I'm, I'm pretty much just lost, uh, I'm lost here. I'll, I'll tell you what, I'll put down Anarchist Cookbook. Hopefully some of these bombs will go off near Peep. It looks like it did a little bit of damage. I don't know, like, Anarchist Cookbook is like, if you're fighting Pin, hey, it's an easy Pin kill. But after that, I don't even know what you use it for. Like, maybe on... Ugh, such bad damage. Maybe on large rooms it could be, uh, worthwhile. I don't know, though. Now, we're not super strong. Like, in addition to all of our tiers and, uh, kind of weird synergies here with, uh, Monstro's Lung, for example, I would love to pick up some more damage. I mean, that's just something you would always love to have, right? But I would really love to have some more damage right now. I'm going to gamble on our Blood Bank a little bit more, because now that we've played uh, a little bit more Rebirth, we know that there is a decent chance of getting a Blood Bag. I'm not sure if it's affected by your luck stat. And our money is out of control here, so at the very least we can get something from our shop. This is shaping up much more, if you compare it to the last run, it, is, it must be based on the damage we take on a floor, because look at how big my tears are right now. Or maybe, like, our rage gets stronger the less HP we have. Alright, so we're starting to figure out maybe the mystery of Samson. I know I could just look up the effect, by the way. But there's something to be said for some, you know, self-discovery, right? I'm never gonna be the number one world Isaac player. I might as well uh, derive some sense of satisfaction from any location that I can. But yeah, this is, uh, this is more my style. This is a much more vanilla E Isaac run. Which is also um, the name of my Bavarian host family from when I was uh, an, an exchange student in... I'm trying to think of a Bavarian city. Munich? Munich's Bavarian, right? I don't know. I haven't played enough as the uh, Central European powers in Europa Universalis 4. Now. That is actually amazing. But uh, why is it more vanilla? Because we have to... We don't start very strong. I mean, our power is okay, but our HP is terrible. And, um, we have to kind of scrimp and save, you know? This is, uh, we're gonna become a self-made Isaac Guerillionaire here. I don't really want to pick up Spectral Tears. It's not Spectral Tears, sorry. Some of the shots are Spectral, and some of them are Piercing, and some of them are both. Or maybe all of them are both, if they proc, but anyway. If it gave us all- sorry, I'm very confused right now. If it gave us, uh... Always spectral and penetrative tears, aka piercing tears. Um, it would be incredible. It would be like one of the best items in the game. Certainly the best trinket in the game that I could think of. But uh, 
it uh, gives us like a 10% chance for each shot to be spectral or penetrative. I think this is the first time we've actually had the bomb bag uh, on the run. So it exists in that Isaac space where I'm like, hey, I'm happy to have it because it does take us a little closer towards our goal. I am going to pick up the uh, black candle here. Why am I going to pick up the black candle? Whoa! Oh, okay, so that's what it means when it makes us immune to curses. That It sounds so obvious that I should feel like an idiot, but I don't, because there's also things like cursed eye, yada yada. But immune to curses means that like we don't, we, we don't suffer from curse of uh, labyrinth anymore. We don't suffer from curse of darkness anymore. That's actually like a pretty good item. Okay, a little bit cost prohibitive maybe at uh, at 15 cents, but pretty sweet nonetheless. I'm gonna take damage here. There's just no way I get out of this. Um, oh, never mind. Totally worked out. But I, I thought that fly for sure was gonna track me down. Really, no, uh, no item, huh? Or no uh, deal with the devil. Growth hormones is sweet. Don't get me wrong, but. I thought I deserved a little bit more than that. We're already at 13 minutes on this run. I wouldn't hold out hope that this is going to be a um, this is going to be a mom or a, sorry, not mom, but a boss rush mode kill English language room. Um, this is much more of just a survival run. But that being said, we could get to the areas that we got to last time with Azazel. We're going to have to become a lot more powerful in order to make those consistently work for us. I think. We got two of the same pill, right? No, these are different. One's bad gas. One's pretty fly, that's really good. One's a speed upgrade, that's okay. And pretty fly, I, I mean, can we have more orbitals? It kind of looks like the uh, big beautiful fly, or whatever it's called, doesn't actually take up a slot, because it's kind of like set off to the side there, you know? So I'm gonna take some time, and people always uh, request this in my runs, so I'm gonna oblige them here. I'm gonna gamble a little bit because our luck stat is pretty good, and uh, I would like to get more red hearts to gamble on the blood bank. I know we have some just kind of sitting in our environment, but uh, hearts that are sitting in your environment take forever to go and backtrack to. I'm gonna pick up that nickel. I know it's probably giving some people like some shakes watching me just kind of leave it on the ground there. You're gonna leave it. No, no, Northern Line. You're gonna leave it. You don't understand. You're gonna leave it though. I'm not gonna leave. It. I'm gonna try not to at least. I shouldn't say I'm not gonna leave it because you know stranger things have happened. All right, play this a couple more times. Like, our money situation is straight up fine. It's good. But, uh, oh, we know this? Yeah, this is what I was looking for. I, I was actually going to mention this, and now it seems like revisionist history, and I'm just being, you know, opportunistic. But uh, I wanted to farm as many luck up pills as we can ha have, because I think it gives us a better chance of getting payouts from everything. So, well, that's that. Let's see what we got going on here. Um, you know, this might be our last play. Fair enough. I'm going to blow you up. Could have used the Anarchist Cookbook, but I didn't necessarily want to blow up the uh, the Blood Bank because we can get one more play out of it. All right, that's that. We'll leave. I'm still relatively happy with this. 15 minutes, yeah. I, I would not hold out very much hope at all that we're going to be going to our uh, boss rush mode. And to be honest with you, we shouldn't go to our boss rush mode. We're not strong enough right now, at least. We'll head down, and we should be able to get nearly back to full health, and this is fine. Unless, the one exception to this would be if we could get some incredible items uh, on this floor. But I'm not really too worried about it. So here's the thing, Broken Onk is not very good. Unless I die, is my assumption, because I don't really know what it does. <laughs> so maybe I should be a little bit less cocky about my assumption there, but... Um, trip, uh, AAA battery is Trickle Charge, which I believe lowers the amount of charge time for each uh, spacebar item by one room. Or maybe by one bar, but anyway. Um, that's not very good when our item is Anarchist Cookbook. So what do we choose to roll with here? One item, or one trinket I should say, which we know is not good with our space bar item, but might be great in the future. Or one item with uh, some effects that could be amazing, but we have no idea. I think I'm going to go with a Trickle Charge here from AAA Battery. It's a bit of a hard decision to make though, mostly because I just don't know what everything does. And now I feel better about it, because Deck of Cards is pretty good. The full health pill is a little bit more valuable, I would say, but, uh, hey, trickle charge is sweet anyway. Oh, this is good. All right, so there's our hermit card, and another one. Judgment. Okay, so this is sweet. So let's use our hermit card first. We're going to fight greed. That's not that bad, honestly. I keep forgetting that we have spectral tears. I should really be spending a lot more time uh, over rocks just charging the crap out of Monstro's Lung. 
I hope we get Steam Sale here. I mean, let's be honest, it's not likely to provide us that much of benefit, but we don't really need the money on the ground either. We have a Judgment card, but Judgments don't seem to show up altogether that much. Like, maybe the same rate as Rebirths, or as Vanilla, so... It's no big deal. Oh, these guys are gonna be easy. I actually love the fact that they're, uh... Kinda trapped over rocks here, because that means the Bonies won't actually shoot at me. If they do, I will be very surprised, and I'll be honest, a little bit peeved. Like I threw a potluck and you brought like a bucket of KFC fried chicken or something. You don't understand, Dale. The point of a potluck is the spirit of the thing that you're all creating something for something else. That being said, I have railed against potlucks in the past. I'll be honest with you, potlucks kind of weird me out. I, I have no problem going out to restaurants and stuff like that, but for some reason I'm wary to eat other people's food that they've made. It's a very weird thing. I, I, I'm not going to try to argue it logically, right? But, um, because I recognize that it's irrational, but it's it, like whenever I'm eating eggs, if I cook the eggs, there's like a plus 10 flavor modifier to it. Not because I'm a better egg cook than anybody else, but just because my dumb brain is like, somebody else cooked these eggs. Did they check to make sure they were not spoiled or something like that? But I still eat them. But, like, this, this even goes for restaurants. I still eat them, but I'm like, I don't know if these eggs are safe. And that applies to everything. So if I go to a potluck and somebody's like, try my salad, I'm like, I don't, well, first off, you'd kiss your mother with that mouth, but secondly, um, my dumb brain is just like, this doesn't taste as good as if you made it because you don't know where, like, not even that the ingredients are like local or organic or anything like that, just sincerely, my dumb brain being like, is this person trying to poison you? I don't know. So, um, probably didn't need to use the stars card there. It's something I should work past, but the other reason I don't like like potlucks is because I used to work in this office. Um, and I don't know if this experience is true for offices everywhere, but potluck day meant 15 mayonnaise-based salads and nothing else. This is my pasta salad, this is my potato salad, this is my macaroni salad, this is my, you know, rigatoni salad. How about, can you maybe just like make like a salad salad? I don't like mayonnaise, dog. I have had some, some wonderful past salads and uh, potato salads made with vinaigrettes, but they're always, it seems like mayonnaise is the is the sauce of choice. I'm okay with mayonnaise, I'll have it now and then, but um, man, I don't know if I want to eat a mayonnaise-based lunch. What does the Food and Drug Administration say? What, what percentage of your daily calories should come from pure mayonnaise mixed with, you know, like enriched white pasta, pasta, maybe some bagels, anyway. Let's keep moving on here. This is a big floor. Again, give up uh, all hope of seeing the boss rush on this run. But that's okay. Because I don't give two hoots about the boss rush on this run. As long as we're able to... Well, we need the Satan kill, right, as Samson? Is that something we needed to knock out? Are we going to continue going to that like new area? Or are we going to try to make it uh, work on the cathedral? We do need to do both. I don't know. Maybe we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Lover's card. I'll just use that so we know that there's uh, HP here. Yeah, I figured this would be a dead end just due to the way the room looked. We haven't really encountered any of the sweet synergies I was hoping for with, um... With Monstro's Lung. One day, I'm sure, uh... We won't be wasting no more time. Good kind of Neapolitan balance of HP right now. Well, we have a golden chest, so this is an obvious one. The Fool card. I think the Fool card is pretty not good. Unless you're going to go to the boss rush room and uh, steal an item and then never come back. In which case, I think the fool card, if it's your only choice, is pretty sweet. Just steal mutant spider and then run away. Do we really want to roll with the fool card? I don't think we do want to roll with the fool card, to be honest with you. And we probably want to take this full health card and get out of here. But I would probably sacrifice uh, 2 HP for, like, almost anything. Are we going to get a second level meat boy? Or are we going to get a... Uh, a bandage charge here, like a ball of bandages. I, I don't care which one we get. If the bandages uh, actually give us another orbital. Ah, that was really bad. If we have like four orbitals, I think that'd be sweet. But I'd also like second level Meat Boy. I haven't seen second level Meat Boy yet. If it is even still in the game, which I assume it like it has to be. Well, we are going to find out. There we go. There's second level Meat Boy very slowly chugging his way around here. These items are not good enough. We didn't pick up any guppy items, right? I don't think we did, so... Yeah, sorry. That's just not good enough for me to uh, pick up what you're putting down. I can't believe that after all this time I still have not had Mom's knife. 
I know I've unlocked it on one of the save files. I don't know if it's this save file or if it's um, if it's the one on the PS4 or what. But I am amazed that in all of my Isaac play, I've had Brimstone like three times in 60 hours or something ridiculous. And I've never had Mom's Knife. People keep tweeting me, hey, have you had Mom's Knife plus this? Hey, have you had... Let me stop you there. I haven't had Mom's Knife. There's no synergies awaiting me. I haven't had Mom's Knife plus anything. I haven't had Mom's Knife plus fucking carbon. I would like to get it, you know, maybe my favorite item from vanilla. And yes, I know that makes me a scumbag, but... Temperance. Temperance is good. We'll take that with us for now. A bit more of a, uh, I don't want to say laborious, because laborious carries uh, negative connotations, but certainly a longer run this time than the last one. And that's okay, because, you know... We're, we're in that adjustment period where we're like, shouldn't we be killing enemies in one hit? Well, probably not. That's just an Azazel kind of like hangover. Ye old Azazel hangover. Keep moving along here. I don't think I'm missing anything major right now. Two keys to enter that room. I'll do it. I got nine keys. Could be uh, any variety of bullshit or it could be amazing. Let's see. I think this is acceptable. Two keys for five bombs. I don't even want to run the math anymore, but it's like three keys for seven bombs and a key and a bit of money. You can simplify that math probably. Okay, now we got Guppy's Collar. And uh, now if I get the chance to become Guppy, I will. Because I have to. I am unashamed now. First I was ashamed. I was petrified. Wondering how many viewers would start to cry. But I spent so many runs lying dead on the floor, and I abhor losing before the eighth floor. So now I'm a cat. <laughs> anyway, you can you can roll that one yourself. That was just off the top of my head. Spun like a bit of sugar. The wafer. I didn't even talk about it because I was too uh, happy with my "I will survive" parody. Uh, I was chuffed with myself, as uh, someone might say. But, uh, the wafer is amazing. Basically doubles our HP in the late game. That's not technically, literally what it does, but on a functional... That was really nasty. Uh, on a functional level, that is what it does. Good, we got our spirit heart back. Well, we lost a black heart, but we got a spirit heart back. And we got another judgment card. So we got to make sure that we deal with these, because we have two judgment cards. Let's gamble. Or not gamble, let's just give this guy our money. Spending all your money on me, on charitable donations. Uh, sweet, another pretty fly. Does it work? Yes. We have four orbitals. That's cool. You know what? I'm going to put a judgment down because I know we have another judgment. The way you normally use judgments is you wait for a deal with the devil. Oh, snap. He gave us a shop item. That's blue map, dog. That's awesome. We're going to get our other judgment item and try this shit again. Or our other judgment card, I should say, and try this shit again. Because if it gives us shop items, hey, maybe it's not a deal with the devil? Where did I put the judgment? Did I leave it on the last floor? Don't tell me I left it on the last floor. But if uh, if the shop, or if, if judgment is like a tofu that takes on the flavor of the room that it's in, which it was often in vanilla, but not reliably necessarily, except for the devil room. Uh, not even the devil room sometimes. Um, this, this changes things uh, drastically, maybe. Okay, I like this room. I still have not figured out where to put the bomb to get... Uh, all four at once. All four fires, that is. Yeah, I'll tell you what, I'm probably not going to take Amnesia because go fuck yourself. Let's do a little bit more exploration here. We have a boss trap room. Uh, with our Temperance card, we can get something good going on there. Did I leave the Judgment card on the last floor? If I did, I'd be very salty. With myself. Salty with myself is also, you know, what I did every night when I was 13. All right, Wrath. Get out of here, dog. I don't want... Oh, that was... That was great damage. Really productive damage on my part. I've got all these orbitals. What should I do? Yeah, let's just walk into an enemy and then walk into their bomb. All right, so we've explored, like, pretty much this entire floor. Let's take a look around. Where's our, um... Where's our judgment card? Is it in that special weird room down here? It could be. No. I think I lost it, man. I'm 
trying to look on the map. I don't even know what tarot cards look like on our map. Where did our temperance card go? I, do, I get turned around with this map a lot now, I gotta say. Maybe it was just on this room, like literally right here. That's our temperance card. Uh, you know what? Goodbye, judgment card. I tried. Thank you for the blue map, I appreciate it. Yeah, you know what? I'll, I'll pay it until I get down to like two keys. That's it, I'll give you uh, up until two keys to pay out with something. I've never had a key beggar pay out with a, um, no! Well, okay. <laughs> I've never had a key beggar pay out with an item and it doesn't look like that streak's gonna end today. Now we got our second secret room. If I, I, by the way, I fully am cognizant of the fact that I'm probably just leaving this judgment card behind and I feel like a big idiot about it. It's probably on this floor. So be it. Uh, this is just a no-brainer. Hopefully we can at least get the uh, IV bag out of this. Not that I like the IV bag, but at least it would give us, you know, some peace of mind. Rarely does this situation present itself so uh, nicely. Now we could, of course, go to our boss trap room. I may choose to do so. I can't believe with all this luck we're not uh, having a better chance of a payout. Or maybe we have a better chance, it's just not working out for us. Really? Hey, we got IV bag. That's not so good, but, you know, it is what it is. We're up to 67 cents. Money equals power would be a crazy good drop for us right now. Full health is probably the card that we want to roll with. And now that we've taken so much damage on a blood bank, it seems like our damage is a lot better now. Alright, so we'll come up and uh, go to the left. We want to check out our boss trap room. Uh, I'm not loving this whole uh, like red heart situation here. There we go, that should be enough for us to at least squeeze through. How annoying. I'll fight it, I don't care. Hopefully I don't take very much damage here, but... I guess if I do, it makes uh, us that much stronger. Because our tears, it does it does seem to be based on damage, I'll admit. It seems like the more damage we take, the better our damage multiplier is on the floor. Because we just like, we, our shots are enormous now. And another key. Alright, one last quick perusal for this judgment card and then it's on to the mom fight. It's a full health, I thought, yeah. Um, anything special going on in here? There's lots of riffraff happening. Take a quick peek down here, because it could be so valuable. Like, we have so much money. Doesn't appear to be there. Only red hearts here. What is this pill? It's like uh, amnesia? Bad gas. All right, full health is uh, a lot better. It's not here. You know what? I would love to see if this works. If we got super close, it might work, but I don't know if that's worth the risk. That's not judgment. Did I leave it, like, behind here or something? <laughs> I'm, like, I'm so, uh, in denial. Well, I'd say that pill was probably not worth it. Uh, excuse me, don't take the wrong pill, thank you very much. Okay, uh, let's move along, we're gonna fight Mom. I think I left it on the last floor and I've just forgotten about it. Where's the foot? It's Red Mom. There should be feet galore here. Oh, yeah, that could have been bad. One more hit should do this. Very easy fight. We get the negative. Which, uh, oh, I guess that that pretty much shoehorns us into our fate. Uh, we have to take Dark Bum. There's just no, no debate on that. Um, and in addition to Dark Bum, which is one of the most powerful items in the game, why don't we take the mark for the extra damage? And, uh... Sock it to me here, Dark Bomb. Start giving me some Spirit Hearts. Thank you. Alright, now, like, Lover's cards are super incredible for us. This could actually give us, an, well, let's put it this way. In a few floors, it should give us enough Spirit Hearts to get to the cap, if we don't completely fud fuck it up. Where you at, dog? Oh my god, I hate this enemy so much. So many people have told me, oh, he's easy, he's easy. I hate him anyway. Red Hearts. Nope, okay. We're going to have to be pretty cautious. Um, eventually, we should reach a point where we're getting uh, a lot of spirit hearts. Just need some red hearts to drop. Just need some red hearts to drop. Maybe in here. Second secret room, maybe. 
All right, this is fine. Maybe we can get the quarter here. We have had it on this uh, save file, I think. Oh my god, I dodged it. We got the quarter anyway, though. I don't love it, but uh, I'll use it. Well, I won't use it, but I'll take it. <laughs> Almost certainly we'll end up not using any of this money. This guy's pretty tricky, as you can tell. One of the most wily enemies in the game. Yeah, quite strong. All right. Lovers. Oh, so good. This is what I wanted. Just give me the lover's card every time. Just one? That's all right. I can live with it. There's no second secret room on this floor? That's... Oh, fuck you, mom. Um, no second secret room on this floor. Uh, burns me uh, burns me up a little bit. As you can tell, the passion is uh, rising in my voice. Very ornery about the whole situation. Not sure how long I'm going to be able to keep this rage bottled up. Oh, don't get hit by the brimstone. At least it only did half damage. That's our, that's our benefit here. All right, the bloat. Bloat's a, he's a garbage monster. You know that by now, if you played any of vanilla. This run has some magic. The question is, uh, is magic enough? Or do we need brimstone? <laughs> I don't think we're gonna be able to, oh, that was so bad. I don't think we're gonna be able to take any deals with the devil. Drop some HP, you cocky dork. Well, the spirit heart's fine. Meat's uh, good enough to take, for sure. Gives us a damage upgrade and the tooltips actually right now. Oh, dude, Krampus' head. Fuck the lover's card. Krampus' head. Also, lump of coal would probably be sweet as well. Either way, we're getting rich here. Lump of coal, sure. Dark bum? Yes, okay. Big plays. Down to the next floor. The dream is alive. Okay, this is our mom's heart play. Should be pretty simple. So I'm pursuing these... Uh, large rooms here, not because I think large rooms are easy, quite the contrary. I, uh, I know that our secret room is close by, that's why I'm doing it. And our secret room could have any variety of goodie in there for us. This is the last one anyway. Yeah, it was easy. Uh, Wheel of Fortune, and the Devil. That sounds like the title of like the world's worst master's thesis. Wheel of Fortune and the Devil. Anyway. Uh, so I'm gonna gamble like crazy on this thing. We have good luck stat, and I want to reach the uh, HP cap. Emperor card is pretty good. Devil's Tail. You know, is it evil up? It is evil up. Um, that gives us a better chance of getting black hearts. Mom's uh, Pearl gives us a better chance of getting spirit hearts. And then there's the Tick. We want Emperor or Devil? I think we want the Emperor card, honestly. And um, let's let's stick with this. Black hearts are better than spirit hearts. The question is. Is Mom's Pearl going to give you more spirit hearts than the Demon's Tail would give us black hearts? The answer to that question is I don't know. So, you know, suck on that. Can we have a third pretty fly? I can't even see if we can, but uh, cool. Uh, there is a second secret room, and my dream is to get to that second secret room, because if it has a, a bunch of red hearts on it, life's good, man. Dark Bum will give us at least a few spirit hearts for that, probably enough to take us to the cap, guaranteed. Be a little scared here. Not too scared, though. Mom's heart should be... How the hell are we supposed to get to that second secret room? <laughs> Alright. Having a giggle, I see. Yeah, thank you. I, there must be some kind of strategy with Samson where you, like, get a temperance card and then just use it 50 times before you fight the boss. I have no idea how to get to that secret room, by the way. That should be obvious. You must have to teleport in there somehow. Even a moon card wouldn't do it because it would take you to the, the regular secret room. I don't know if that's some kind of like weird, you know, other dimensional kind of time portal. Who knows, man? You think I'm Stephen Hawking? I crank dumb jokes about Limp Biscuit on the internet. I am not Stephen Hawking. Hey, hey. Okay. I think he's got more important work to do. If I had to guess. Oh, there's another path down here. Okay, so it turns out I'm just really, really dumb. God, I hate this piece of shit. Don't. Where are you going? Thank you for dying. I need this guy to die so I can use my card. There we go, the world card. World card. Should we use that right now? 
probably, because we're going to take the Emperor down to the next floor anyway. It doesn't teach us all that much, you know. There is... There's the room over here. I found it, guys. Got to sneak in some shots to be able to take out these turrets. There's one, at least. Okay. I think we're in a good position here. I don't know if we're going to beat the lamb. And I'm just being honest with you. It's flatworm. Uh, I don't know if it's... Uh, I don't know if we're going to beat the lamb because I don't know the lamb's patterns well enough. I've only fought it once. Monkey's paw. I think we'll stick with evil up. Mostly because, again, I don't really know what monkey's paw does either. Alright. We know the mom's hard fight. It's it's getting a little easier. It's taken long enough to get to that point, but it is getting a little easier. We are doing next to no effing damage. This is going to be... Uh, I wouldn't necessarily call it a problem. But it's certainly going to be a much longer mom's hard fight than we've had uh, in recent memory. Our rage is not quite built to the, the point where we would like it. It's going to be hard for us to get hit by those bullets, at least. Because we've got this nice little suite of orbitals. Well, every time we get hit, you know, we can, we can put a positive spin on it. Okay, here we go. About halfway done. Only taking a little bit of damage, like half a heart, thanks to the wafer. That was maybe a lucky dodge, or some nice uh, orbital action in there. Almost done, almost done. Almost done. Thank God. So we have a choice, we can go to the cathedral, but why don't we try to get further? Why don't we try to go to the... Why don't we try to go to Shoal and then fight the lamb, because we have the negative, uh, rather than just going to the cathedral and knocking it out. We've got plenty of Isaac runs to knock out... Um, all of the cathedral stuff. We got the negative first, which is not a surprise, I guess. Let's uh, try to make it work for us. So the shoal fight should be easy, and then immediately on... Well, it shouldn't be easy, but um, it shouldn't be too tough. And then immediately on uh, Dark Room, we'll pop the Emperor card and get the hell out of town. Seriously, just break it, please. Money equals power would be so good. It's not gonna happen, but it'd be so good. Oh, we don't have trickle charge anymore. Right. I'm like, why Why is it taking me longer to get a charge? Oh, I wonder. Joker, yeah, dog. Goathead. Infested baby. Luck down, speed up. We'll take our speed up. Honestly, I think uh, Headless Baby, I always call it Infested Baby for some reason. I think Headless Baby is really good. I think it's also a great counter to the Satan fight, which we're about to have. And let's be honest, if we were going to get down to one red heart, we were probably fucked anyway, right? So... Um, I don't think it's a big loss to take this. But it, it's it's creep, man. It does damage to Satan's feet so well. This is a good example of a, a vanilla E run that, um, you know, this is not an overpowered run. We have Dark Baby. That's overpowered. I'll give you that straight up. Dark Baby is crazy strong. And as is the only item, I think, in Rebirth that has already been nerfed. That being said, like, offensively, this run is not off the chain. We got Monstro's Lung, which a lot of people seem to hate. Our spacebar item is freaking, uh, you know, tarot cards. Who gives an S? This should be who gives a S. Whatever. I'm not worried about my grammatical correct swearing here. Much longer run than I expected as well, but, you know, after that Azazel run, I think that's not really that much of a surprise. Easy fight. Easy life. Uh, I don't really care about this uh, curse room. There's probably reasons to care about it. I mean, it could give us two spirit hearts, but... Oh, you know what? Maybe we should because we're only going to lose half a heart. One heart because we can fly, so we don't take damage on the way in. But then half a heart because it gets modified by the wafer. Okay, yeah, I'll do it. I think that's worth the risk. We could get an item in there. We could become Guppy. Well worth the chance. Ah, yeah. That was ex insanely worth it. I don't even know why I came in here, because it's clearly a dead end. Oh, that's what these guys do. They're turrets. I haven't seen them shoot in a long time. Death card. Well, um... It's a lot better than the Emperor at offensively dealing with enemies, but... I mean, we could use it right here, but then we just end up walking back. So let's just imagine that we did use the death card on this room. 
and we'll continue moving onwards here. Well, when you're having a long run, what do you like to see? Definitely Envy. <laughs> Dude takes uh, forever to kill. Disproportionately long, regardless of your damage, basically. And now, I like, I know Lump of Coal is fine for us, but I do sort of wish that we'd gotten Krampus's head, because we would just tear ass on every single one of these rooms. We probably wouldn't kill Envy in one hit, but it wouldn't be too much more than that. Okay. And of course, you know, we're going to explore absolutely everything by accident. Save that money in case we end up needing it in the future, right? That's my philosophy on that. Haven't really taken very much damage on this floor, so our damage is bad. That's an interesting trade-off. I actually really like this as the, uh, maybe the, the pinnacle of Edmund's idea that, you know, it's, it's really cool to have enemies that, uh, or not enemies, but characters for whom you maybe want to take damage because it gives you a better offensive punch. This works a lot better, or a lot more fun, I'd say, than like Eve did. The dead bird. Um, I don't know what Mysterious Candy really does. We got a pretty fly, Isaac's Fork. You are dark inside. Jeez, that's, you know, do you got x-ray specs on or something like that? Hookworm, or ringworm, I guess. You're playing it wrong, give me the controller. I like that one. Hermit card, spirit art, that's what we're looking for. That's uh, umbilical cord. I don't want to play around with this too much more. I really just want the, the spirit hearts out of it. Umbilical cord is not what I want. Tell you what, we'll go down to 75 cents. Don't really want the hermit card. Definitely don't want broken magnet. Any moment now. Any moment now we'll be done with this. And we'll check that last one out. Uh, butt Penny is not very good. Oh, there's our boss fight. So I was thinking we would go to the second secret room, but we're actually not going to. Because instead we can just go fight our boss. Sure, the second secret room might have, you know, three spirit hearts on it. Whatever. I think we're going to be ready to fight, uh... To fight the lamb. I do. Depends how much damage we take here. We haven't had, like, any red hearts drop. Child's heart with this would be so good, but... Okay, let's cool it. Drop the bomb. Run away. That's pretty good. We've already split in half. You know, with 41 bombs... Oh, that's pretty good. Um, but with 41 bombs, we're in a pretty solid position here. Satan should not be able to hit us very easily as a result of the uh, whole orbital mess we got going on here. He does have that weird, like, double brimstone attack that... I don't know if you've seen it on camera, but it's really fucking annoying uh, regardless. Like the double curved brimstone that he shoots out of his hands. Alright, we got lucky there. Now, what's our deal? We, we're gonna paint this shit up with... Oh, that was really bad. We're gonna paint this shit up with creep. Got lucky to not get hit there, I'm gonna be honest. We're painting this shit up with creep because it's just a free damage bonus, basically. I'm not doing very well at hitting him. I'm so mad about... Uh, well, never mind. I'm not so mad anymore. I'm so mad that those... Uh, Silkworms just keep spawning like directly on top of me. That's all right. Fight's over. We got a spirit heart back. We're heading down to the next level. We all knocked an item there, by the way. It's blood rites. That item's pretty bad, but we got it. Ooh, what is this shenanigan right here? Give me some spirit hearts. Oh, come on. How do we open this bad boy? I mean, we don't have keys, or we have we have keys, but we don't have the keys necessary to open it up, apparently. That's all right. We'll tackle that room at a later date, I suppose. I don't think you need a golden key. I think you need maybe some kind of item. Maybe you need a, maybe you need to take down a rusted key. That'd be a shame because we just had it. Anyway, Emperor card. I have no idea what to expect here. Last time we fought the lamb, we were um, a Zazel, and it was the easiest shit of all time. All right, I I respect that attack, but I'm not afraid of it. Could see these being a little bit more annoying. Not so bad, though. Now, we're not doing very much damage, but keep in mind, the more we get hit, the more damage we're going to do. So this is basically free damage right now in the truest sense of the word. We're almost 50% of the way through the fight. This is a cool boss fight thus far. I like it. We're actually getting a chance to see the patterns here for the first time. Doesn't seem that tough to dodge. But we are actually having a pretty powerful run, so what can I say? 
Okay, so this is where things got weird. <laughs> I didn't really know what was up with that stuff on the ground. Oh, are you just going to fire continuously like that? Yeah, that'll make you harder to hit. Occasionally you spawn enemies. Oh, okay, yeah. I can respect that attack. That did some damage. But every time you do damage to me, I do more damage to you, buddy. Oh, is this really the road you want to go down? Probably. This is probably your best chance. Ooh, careful. Get out of there. We just got to kill this part now. Okay, we're going to win. Second lamb kill in a row. Feels good, man. Feels good. We just walk into that fly or something. And we got another unlock there. Let's see if we got another ending here. I think this is probably the same one. It's got a real, like, Goosebumps TV show theme song going on. All right, well, we had a great run that time. Samson continues to be powerful. As always, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And, of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.